Good morning all and let's solve a cheese problem today. So we have a cheese in the shape of a cube given by unit cube x, y, z spans from 0 to 1. And let's say plane which is in the form of knife cuts this cheese cube along the plane x equals y, y equals z and z equals x. We have to find the number of pieces in which this cheese cube is being cut provided we are not separating the pieces until the all the three cuts are made. So, how to go about this? Now, clearly one way is you start drawing the diagram and then come with a plane. So, let us say if I take this as 0, 0, 0, we can take the ex extreme most point to be 1, 1, 1 and then the plane which you can realize will be an x, y plane through which this cut will be moved. But it is very difficult to analyze this in 3D visualization, especially if the problem appears in the examinations. Okay, so, I would recommend you to create a simple programming so that you can clearly see the number of pieces as well. But here, interestingly, I am going to solve this problem using algebra because the diagram will not be so cool to draw it. So, what we can realize is let me pose a simpler problem. Let us say we have a square S given by this set 0 x y both belongs to 1 and if I cut this square along a line y equal to x in how many pieces the cut can be made. Very simple problem clearly the answer is 2 we have line y equals x we have one region over here and another region over here. But when you do the same thing from 3D, the condition is not so obvious. But the realization from 2D is follows. If I have a line y equal to x, it divides the square into two regions. One region is y less than equals x, other is y greater than equal to x. So if I pick any point in this region, it will satisfy this restriction. Similarly, for every point in this region, this inequality will be satisfied. So let us try to mimic this condition. So, let us try to mimic this idea and solve this 3D problem of cheesecake. So, let us say if you have a plane x equals y, so what are the possibilities? So, this plane will divide the region into two parts, either region where x will be greater than y or x less than y. So, in total, we have two regions over here, two regions over here and two regions over here. So, in total, by fundamental rule of counting, we can tell we have 8 regions. Question is, are all these 8 regions valid? So, let us take the case. So, let us make all the 8 cases x greater than y, y greater than z, x greater than z, x greater than y, y greater than z, x less than z, x greater than y, y less than z. So, these are 8 regions in which the entire cube will be divided into. Now, let us see are all of them is valid. So, if x is more than y, y is more than z, clearly it implies x, than z, x more than y, y greater than z. So, this is wrong condition. x more than y, y less than z. So, it might be correct x more than y, y less than z. So, this is again a valid region. This is still valid x more than y and x is more than z, so y more than z is valid, y more than x and x is more than z, so y less than is valid, x is more than y and x is less than y and x is more than z, so z is low, this is invalid x more than y this is valid. Now, this is invalid because this the first two inequalities shows x is less than y and y is less than z. So, it definitely implies x less than z. So, which is contradiction over here. Exactly in the same way, this shows x greater than y, y greater than z. So, that implies x should be greater than z. So, there is just still a contradiction. So, we have total answer 8 out of which 2 is invalid. Hence, the correct answer to this problem is 6. If you are enjoying these lectures and the logical way of problem solving, please do like and subscribe the channels for more quality content for free. Thank you. Have a good day.